All right, we are on to chapter seven of Immortals of Avium. We're going to talk to everybody, as always. Talk to everybody, get all the dialogue out. Good. What's up, x -Bun? How are you doing? Into the hello, hello. From a thousand miles away, through some spatial overlap... He's going to say, yeah, I'm fine. No one's ever seen before. I guess you're not. I'm just saying there's a lot to unpack there. Okay, uh, I'm going to go. Wait, Jack, l listen. I know you have a grudge, to put it probably too lightly with Sandrak for what he did to your home. Quiet. But don't, well, you know, let all that cloud your judgment when we try and backstab him at Nosea. There's... Sandrak's got you spooked. Just stay focused and don't worry about me. You're right. Father hated a coward. Why does this look like Lyric? Of his disapproval is he? Making things worse. Okay, yeah, you know, this is like the exact opposite. Of focus. What's up, Zulu? How are you I'm doing? Sorry. I really need to get it together. Foreign magics are difficult to scrub out of a breach zone on the best of days. I keep Can't talking to him. Right this Roshanian magic is made oh. up of annoyingly self-replicating subspells that require so, me to murder thinking... them one at a time with the utmost Seriously? concentration. Seriously? Let it go. We've got to get prepped for another no day at work, you know? No. I need you to take that yeah. portal stone to Selko, Jack. Step to it. All right, we can't really talk to anybody else, so let's just go talk to Selko. Chapter 6 was the longest chapter by far. It was like three times longer than every other chapter. So that's good news. I was afraid this game was going to be way too short, but if the last however many chapters are an hour and a half long, I think there's nine chapters left, so that would be... That would be like 10 hours. That would be good. I don't have any gold. What am I trying to craft for? That was meant for Wordle. Spoiler alert. I mean, that could have been your first word. For all I know. You're playing Wordle? Well, I'm streaming video games on the internet. <sighs> the nerve of some people. Different version of Wordle. Did I play Wordle? I did not do my Wordle today. No, I haven't done Wordle in a couple days. I've been busy. Wordle has kind of slipped my mind here and there. Sometimes I just get too busy and forget to do Wordle. And then I forget for like four days in a row and then I get back on track. No, in my luck, one of the days I skipped is the day my freaking starting word is the actual word. All right, we could just go straight to where we need to go, or we could do some side quest in Sally and see what's over here. I'm an exploring son of a bitch. I like to see what's around. Round, round, get around. I get around. You yeah, get around. Round, round, I get around. Get her. Driving up and down and living in the same old streets. I gotta find a new place where the kids are. That's because it wouldn't be right to leave your best girl home on a Saturday night. Round, round, get around. I get around. Yeah, get around, round, round. I get around. Round, round, round. Where's the red one? How is the game? I think the game's pretty good. It's been getting some negative reviews here and there. But I, I genuinely think it's a good time. I'm the weird guy. The Azure Ring. Nice. What up, Daniel Fana? Is this man okay? No. Got Wardle on your third try today? I'm about to one-up you in Wardle. I am about to one-up you in Wordle. I'm going to do it with the YouTube Let's Play going. Audio. Oh, that's not a good start. Tribe. Oh, this is not a good start at all. 
slime. Oh! Shine like my bald head! Oh my god. Spike. Oh, come on. I was about to exit out. Spice. See, look at that. One up to you. Look at that. One up to you. What up, Dr. Prod? How are you doing? You would have put spite. <laughs> this is why I'm a professional. I played Tetris. Yeah, you know what? I'm not good at actual Tetris, so I played Tetris and Wordle. What's up, Carly? How are you doing? Hello. Wow, so many Immortal of Avium fans coming into the chat today. Wow. Anyone else playing the Immortals of Avium? $80? 80, 80 Canadian dollars? 70 US? Free if you're me because... Got my connections? Like the hand animations? It's an FPS magic game. Kirkin Single player. Say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know. So is it though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just. It's just a fan of if me. I the whole plan, it could be helpful since I'm like part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. It's like an action RPG. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Wait, isn't that who we're supposed to give to? Oh, okay, whatever. Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the. Are we bursties? Where the bursties, bursties that you could ever bursty? Also, my PC is running on like, my PC is on like sticks right now with how hard it is trying to run this game. Parlay. What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh huh. See you soon. My PC's doing its best with this game, okay? I got an old PC and it's like, oh, yeah, okay. We're playing this game? Okay, okay, okay. This game, you can, you can upgrade. You got a skill tree. You got gear. You got everything you could ever need in your life. Is there anything here that I could get? Door locked. There's a door. Is there a door over here that I missed? There might be a door over here that I missed. If you're a bursty... Report for duty right now. I'm calling all the bursties. Such a silly name. Like, it works. Don't get me wrong. It works for a name, but it's so goddamn silly. Uh, rare arc light. Oh, that's fine. Can I not go through this? I guess I can't go through that right now. There'll probably be some main story for that later down the line. We have to meet Kirkland in Nosia. We will fast travel to do that. Driving up and down, aiming on the same old street. I gotta find a new place where the kids are hip. And as they said, it goes night to leave your best girl home on a Saturday night. Round, round, get around. What's up, Cuff? Breaker, how you doing? Oh, great. We're back to this freaking baloney. I shouldn't have all tabbed out. Now my FPS is all jittery. Way to go, bun. Making me play Wordle to one up you. Work has been hectic. Uh, my PC is dying. But I'm sorry, work has been hectic. You just played Wordle, you got it in one. Wow. Impressive. I might need to restart my game. Hopefully it saves, because I need to restart. Because my PC is not doing a good job right now. You see, I can't really play new releases a lot because my PC is so old and bad and stinky and gross. 
So, yeah. Let me play it on my phone, I bet I can get it in the morning. Oh, you guys are such cheaters. God. Oh, fuck. Oh. Big stretch. Sorry, YouTube Let's Play. You have to watch me restart the whole game. All right, let's continue. Da -da -da. You're not sorry, YouTube. Hey, that YouTube Let's Play is like 25 subs from Partnership where I can not make really any money because real money starts coming when you get the ads. The ad revenue is at 1,000 subs, but my YouTube Let's Play is almost at 500. Pretty good for just mostly uploading VODs. You know what I mean? Big Bear. Big Bear. Arlen, thank you for the 100 bits. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you for the 100. Big Bear. Mana crystal. I have to be a sucker and look for everything. If you're watching this YouTube, tell your mom to sub to Per Sleepy Point. Chibi, thank you for the 100 bits. Scam train. Carly, thank you for the 100 bits. Of scam training. Thanks, Carly. Thanks, Chibi. Thanks, La La La. You guys have started a scam train on your own. It's a level one baby train, but hey, money is money. You know what they say? You only get emotes. That's the way. And I think I just found another puzzle to do. We're not going to do the main story because that's lame. Boy, not Carly. Oh, God. Carly, Chibi, Arlen. I'm so used to La 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 being the freaking starter of trains. Ugh. Losing my mind. Lodima, thanks for the 300 bits as well. It is greatly appreciated. Can't participate. You have no card right now. Just go take Phoenixes. Happy K, have it your way. You rule. Alex, thanks for gifting two subs to Emma and Stupid Burb. Appreciate it, Alex. Thank you, Lodima, as well. Hey, level two. Good job. Level two. The train is now a toddler. Congratulations on the toddler train. We're now referring to scam trains as uh, different stages of life. Level two is the toddler train, so good job on making it a toddler. You should be proud of that. Not many people can do that. What the fuck? PK, have it your way. You rule! There's a puzzle here, and I don't know what it is. I want to make it into a drinking age train. That's like a level 4 train. If it ends, it dies. Don't let our baby die up. If it ends, you're gonna... If this train ends right now, you're gonna kill a toddler. My bird plush was repicked up, and it's gonna get sent to my current address. Let's go. I'm glad that they were able to... Get that figured out. Thanks for buying a plushie. If you didn't buy one, thanks for getting scammed into getting a plushie from somebody else. Grow, cutie, grow. La la la, thank you for the hundred bits. 
Let's go. The toddler train. Also, for people that don't know, you can buy a plushie if you want. I would show you what the plushie looks like, but my plushie is, uh... My plushie's kind of far away. A singular strike. Arlen XP gifted six months of six tier one. Six months. Tier. They've gifted twenty-eight months in the channel. They've gifted twenty-eight months in the channel. I don't think that. I guess that's true. Uh, Arlen, thanks for gifting six months of subbing. You pushed the train yourself to level three. This is now an adolescent train. This train is now a teenager. Congratulations. It is 16 years old and it's starting to drive in the United States. Somebody get behind the wheel and teach this thing. Thank you, Arlen. Did I like your plushy pig? You were choking it, so of course. Does anybody see what I'm supposed to do here? That is not my team. You can keep it sleep at Lankies. Thank you for the 200 bits, Arlen. Nobody wants this teenager, this teenage train. Cause I'm just a teenage dirt bad baby. Come with me Friday. Don't say maybe. I don't see what I'm supposed to do here. I don't see what I'm supposed to do. I spend way too much time trying to figure out these stupid puzzles. Literally just got yours. Congratulations on a plushie. Thanks for buying it or getting scammed into having it. I don't know which one it was. I can't keep track of how everyone's method of plushy receiving is, but either way, I appreciate it. You can still buy a plushy if, if you want to. It'll get shipped immediately. You don't even have to wait that long like everybody else. Or you could be shark and just never support me. Shark got gifted like 12 plushies. It was insane. What the fuck? It's true. Ergle banana. Ugh, Ergle subs. Ugh, Ergle subs. Name something worse in life than a Ergle sub. You watched Gamescom, it was alright. Do you think I missed out by not watching Gamescom? Or do you think it was the smart choice to not watch Gamescom? A burr sub? A burr goal sub. Burr subs are cool. And chads. It wasn't Nintendo Direct, so it can't be worse than that. Well, at least it wasn't a goddamn Pokemon Presents. I just saw that there was another guy that ran on stage. They have a real security problem. Really? Another guy ran on stage? <laughs> it's so soft and cute. Talk about Jeff Keighley or the plushie.
rare bracers. Glittering nice. gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. No, I'm not alt tabbing out. That ruins my train. FPS. I can't alt tab out. If I alt tab out, my FPS dies. Uh, Arlen, thank you for the 500 bits. Goodbye, the teenage train. It died. You guys killed a teenager. Probably got drunk. Ah, uh, thank you. Also, what's up, Shiny? Is this like Bioshock meets God of War? Ah! Yeah, the magic is more prevalent in this game. This game is all magic. Cat, you DM to me. Is it important? Should I look at that DM now? Can I call dibs? Not A singular time. strike. What's the plan? To know. Nerd so sleepy. Actually, less there. than three. If I'm being honest. Lexi, thanks for the tier one for sixty-three months. I love you, and I hope you do a good Lexi back. work. Getting gains this knees. season. I hope you do it amazing. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkham that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Big Big Bear. mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war. Thank you for the hundred bits, Arlen. The rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. Something's about you to happen. Exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound. He's moving it. We have to go. Now, fall back. Looks like Jack's dying. That's what's happening. This acting, you're sorry. The gameplay is all that matters. Okay. We teamed up with him in the first place. What, the guy that just threw the stuff on us? We didn't team up with him. He's the enemy. Ugh. Ugh. He called for a, uh, Ugh. a non-hostile, uh, meetup. Debrief in the war chamber. Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkans left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkans' emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that. Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. You guys need a plan? What made you think you needed a plan? Silas. Hello, sir. Now that Yothium is secured, do you have your reassignment? You heard the Grand Magnus at your ceremony, sir. Uh, Jack's we're kind of a dick. Front, or we're marching north to help be, hopefully he'll change by the end. The grass is still working out the details. Have a preference? The front, sir. Even though that's an airship over the wound and I have no stomach for flight, my mother and brothers are stationed there. Trenchers by trade, a lot of us. Why the do characters always look like Tom Holland? To fight his families. Has enough pull with the Light's Army to ensure it happens. 
So how did you end up here? A clerical error, most like. Things got a bit scrambly when it was apparent Sandrak really meant it this time. Going for the Leyline Tower. But, eh. We're chapter 7 out of chapter 15. Yulthium, right? How many Lightless does your Magnus oversee? Can't count them all by now. He's been taking on the debts of hundreds of us from the other Magni for years. As I understand it, every guy looks like Tom Holland to me. Within the army is a mark of prestige in the dynastic houses. You know, like you'll be doing now that you're an immortal. Yeah, no, I wasn't planning on it. Are you serious? Debt collection seems wonderful to me. I mean, us Lightless have been trained at the country's expense, and our arms and armor aren't free, are they? It adds up fighting for one's king. You know that's fucking insane, right? As a general line of thinking. Huh. Is it? You don't like Tom yeah, Holland? Who am I to question the ways of the Magni, sir? I might even be accused of being unpatriotic. Kirkin was your father's commanding officer at Sundown 10? Indeed she was, sir. Ages ago. What a harrowing experience that was. No, there's, these are soldiers. My father's still shaken by it. Sundown 10's one of the few battles where Rasharn deployed its Archon Battalion. Even though it was a Lucian victory, due to your Grand Magnus, of course, they say the Archons were granted rights of citizenship in Rasharn after that. Their constructs are citizens? Just the Archons, sir, for their valor in battle. They're allowed free worship, of what I can't begin to imagine, and have the vote so long as they serve in the Rasharnian armed forces for a span. That's what some of my squad mates used to say anyway, the older ones. It could just be a lightless soldier's tale. You know how fanciful they can be when it comes to ideas of rights and opportunities and such. That shouldn't have to be fanciful. <laughs> What's an S and M relationship? Thanks, I'd better go. Okay. Interesting talk. Lore. Gotta collect all the lore possible. Sadomasochism? I do not know what that word means. I'm gonna explore around, see where, see what leads to what. Deriving pleasure often has a sexual nature from the infliction of physical or psychological pain on another person or oneself or both. Isn't he dating the person that plays Mary Jane in the newer Spider-Mans? I know the S and M song. Yeah, Zendaya, Zend Zendaya, Zendaya. The hell was that? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Does that mean you're going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1? Nah, probably not. No Mortal Kombat for me. It looks good, but I don't really think it's for me. I don't know what this thing is asking. I will say these puzzles don't really make a lot of sense in this game.
I'll just Google how to do them later if I want to get all the achievements because they, they really don't make any sense to me. And I like to think I'm not an idiot, but like... Oh, great. Another puzzle. I like to think I'm kind of smart, but... Whatever, we'll just go to the war chamber. Gahim, you're not making any sense! The Hall of Memories. Didn't mean to go there. Some of the puzzles are really simple, you know? Like, it's just... Yeah, you shoot this, and then you throw a slowdown, uh, slowdown object on that. It's like, okay, and then you get a chest. It's like, okay, I can do that. It's like, yeah, you have to move these two objects 86 degrees exactly 86 degrees and you have 15 seconds between each one to do and then you have to shoot this red bubble and it's like what what just what everyone seems to be very calm for the world ending kirkin may be gone but our job's still the same eliminating sandrak and his hold over the fonts there are five right he can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest. If no, Kirkin's with the king. What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Rishar. Which means Sandrak's already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is... Well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. To pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Mommy? Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. I looks like Doctor Strange. Sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. Didn't we the see him earlier? Was the Sky Islands of Oramin, digging through the archives at the library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oramin, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oramin is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk oh, Jack chapter seven's already done. Airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. All right, chapter, we're on chapter eight now. All right, the Let's Play gets two videos this time, two Both chapters. Oramin. And what's his name? Thaddeus. Were the mission parameters unclear? No, sir. I just figured some more intel never hurts. It hurts time, Initiate. Do you want to hurt time? The guy I'm looking for, our former Grand Master. I guess we'll do this chapter as well. That was an easy chapter. The feeling's mutual. Your job is to ignore all that and find out what he knows about the Binding Stone. It'd be so much easier to ignore if I knew what it actually was. Nice try. Sir, come on. Thaddeus was Kirkin's mentor. Sandrax, too, in a way. Sandrak. Then he bailed on the order for reasons you don't need to know. 
leaving Kirkin to fill his position when she really didn't feel ready for it. She was a huge fan of that. At least you're sending the new guy to navigate through all the complicated drama. I don't know much about Oriman. Never been that far west in any of the fighting. That's because Oriman dropped out of the Everwar a long time ago. Even before then, they remained largely neutral. Then their magical experiments cut them off from the rest of the kingdoms, and it didn't much matter anymore. Cut off how? I don't have time to give you a history lesson. Devin can catch you up. All you need to know at present is that the Oromic made it a bitch to get out to them. Hence your need to ride a ley line. And what about the Oromic themselves? What's left of them are nomads, migrating from one sky island to another in search of arcanum deposits. Also, they can be a pain in the ass to deal with when you're an outsider. All right. All right. They're Switzerland. <laughs> Hang out. Don't fuck this one up, initiate. Chapter 8, Exile. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a shroud fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. So we have to do a All shroud right, fane. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nusia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell, and I'll tell you where we go from there. All right. Learn the grapple spell in Havenshear. I knew there was going to be a grapple. I knew there was going to be a grapple that wasn't just this whip. Palathon Grand Hall. Every ability we get, is it the last ability we're going to get? Aloy, but buff AF and like two meters tall. He is quite tall. Lucium. Lucia Bridge. Ah! <sighs> Don't like those maps. They remind me a lot of God of War. I know I haven't played God of War in a while, but God of War Ragnarok reminds me of that. Which was a pretty good game. Let's go that way. All right, let's see what we got. Another puzzle that I will never figure out. Wait, we can figure this out, right? They're sending me up. Why'd you send me the wrong way, game? Ugh. I can barely remember God of War Ragnarok. I remember the ending. I guess that's what matters the most. And I remember doing the Boron Atre Atreus missions. That game took a while. That one took me like 50 hours to beat. Granted, I did a lot of side stuff as always. I have this tendency to do a lot of side missions in games, as you are all well aware. Uh, you can sprint and you can do a little dash and you can float, but 
I honestly don't really sprint in this game. Don't really feel the desire to. Ah, shit. Sucking up my mana. What is this music? It's high octane music. Are you kidding me? This is the most intense music you could get. And you're questioning what is this music? Yeah, it's kind of bad. Uh, we got the Serene Maelstorm Rare. None of these items mean anything because I already have a legendary version of everything. So, like, I don't really need these. Heal up. Well, I guess this is rare, so I could probably replace this one. I want less damage and higher fire rate and more capacity. Lower fire rate. Put the legendary one on this. And then probably uh, upgrade this one, right? Can I upgrade it? Oh, no, I can't upgrade. Damage is 23, but fire rate and capacity are very good. So green's now my worst one. Talents, I have an ascension. There's an achievement for getting all these ascensions fully maxed out on everything. I'm not striking enemies with melee attacks. We all know that. Melee attacks? Ugh. Defeat an enemy with any fury spell. I can do that. What's up, Luna? How's the game? It's not bad. I like the game. I like the, the gameplay as a whole. I'm intrigued by the story as well. You know, I'm sucked in. I want to see what's going on with this story. Uh, there's a few things here and there that are a little out of place, but overall, I like it. Better than Redfall, and probably better than Atomic Heart as well, which doesn't really say much. Better than Redfall doesn't really say much. Better than Atomic Heart, it's like, okay. Atomic Heart was, you know, good. Melee attack is just that. It's, it's something that I haven't used once. Which is why I don't really want to upgrade it, because I've never really used it, and I don't really feel the need to use it. Oh, is that it? That's an easy shroud. Probably gonna be a test right now. Oh, they are upgrading this. Okay. Grapple. Use aim at lash anchors and then hold L hold lash LT to pull yourself towards them. I knew we'd be able to grapple soon. I knew it. How did he see that? Press X to ride a ley line, allowing you to travel quickly or find secret areas. All right. Okay. 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 Can we admit that's kind of cool? That's kind of cool. I like this grapple. That is some nice movement right there. I can get behind this. Seems to be endless as well. Okay, that makes the that makes the world easier to traverse now. Because I can actually grapple around. And the big blue thing in the sky makes a little bit more sense. Devin, where do I head next? 
I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Oroman is close by. Heading your way then. No, we're not heading his way. We're exploring to see if there's anything new here. And there is. Look at that. Boy, that doesn't do anything for me, does it? What? Dude, my blink was so late. What the hell was that? Oh, I can't blink when I'm up there? That's a load of bullshit. Okay. You explored previous areas once the portals of that area are unlocked. Search for new shroud fanes and golden chests by using your new abilities. So there's some Metroidvania aspects in this game. My PC is struggling to run this part of the game, but you know, that's fine. There's some Metroidvania aspects. Hey, Busidian, is it worth it? Hard to justify. For me so far, I will say yes. I'm having a good time. I think the game overall is good. I think the story's kind of fun. But I can see other people not thinking it would be worth it. But for me, I... I would buy this game. <laughs> Some of you, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What it's a shame that my uh, my video is not doing good. Mix stupid ideas with bold the CTR is horrible. Worst CTR I've ever conditions. seen. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in About oh, 60 bucks. See if we can find any trace 80, of Thaddeus. And find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? Other mission intel? So the Gatorond, huh? All I'd heard about Ormond was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to sand. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormond government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic. Not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that what by up, distributing Dan? magic evenly, Let's the go. world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I... Uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, What do you know about Thaddeus? I felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject, and Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other. More or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia, the Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's oh a my God. deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. All right. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's go. Let's see if I remember Some riveting gameplay. It's about to get a little bit better. We're traveling to Orman, Orman aka Switzerland. Neutral land. I'm glad we have to see all of it because my PC wouldn't be able to handle it. portal any day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. 
Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to Jack. Oh. Oh, they just want to fight me. They don't even want to know why I'm here. My shotgun is definitely a lot better now. Oh, that was easy. Hey, I'm Jack. This is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucian's, aren't you? Also, don't call Dragon Link. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No. Uh, we can die. It's just Good. like... Good. Stay back. Hey, hey, watch it. Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened. And you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity challenge rocks. Everyone's kind Maybe of a dick in this game. The egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well, Jack. I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Ever War. Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Orman. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rasharnians... This is a Mortals of Avium! We really could use someone that knows the territory. We're trying to I'll save the world from... Be nicer? Good plan. It's like a war. It's more like in a world war with magic. She'll come around. Kind of hate all of them. Yeah. These characters. Why is he chasing her? What? What's the point of you chasing her? That does literally nothing for us. I like the game, but I don't like all the people in the game because everyone's a dick. Kirkland and Zendara are probably the best characters. This is the upgrade system. Armor, green magic power up by 10. Shields up by 40% if I craft this one. What about my upgrades? My legendary sigil damage goes up by 4. Damage goes up by one. Sure. All right, it's fully upgraded. We still don't really have anything legendary besides the stuff that I'm using, but you know, whatever. 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 I have this one equipped. Ooh, magic recharge will be good. I could probably deconstruct a good amount, but I'm not gonna do that. 
What up, Dom? How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Oh, whoa. What do we got down here? I am exploring everything, though, because I make choices. This makes me feel like there's an enemy nearby. Now it doesn't. Now it does. Floor! Or gold. Who made this game? This is made by Ascendant Studios. With the help of EA. Shout out to EA for giving me a code because I am an EA creator. And I'm part of the EA creator program. Shout out to EA for giving me a code to this game. I was going to buy it anyways. Saved me money. Free is free. Yo. More chroniclers. I heal quite a lot. I don't like my green attack as much anymore, but it still seems like it'll be good. Ay, ay, ay. Here I come. Ow. Fuck you. There's my shotgun. We got the shotgun out. So Burr continues to get support. I don't think it matters if you buy this game or not. That's just a random mirror. Like, there's no, like, code or anything to use if you buy this game to get, like, a discount or anything. Never mind. Heck, this game. This game's not bad. You want me to do this? Is it 60 bucks good? Depends on what you're looking for in a game. I like, uh... I like a good, uh, first person... Shit, I like a good first person game. First person single player game. And after the experiences I've had this year, this one is definitely better than the other first person single player games I've played. Granted, the competition wasn't too high with what I've played. What do you have against Fallout 4? It's not Fallout 4. I'm talking about new AAA games that came out this year. Not Fallout 4 and New Vegas and Bioshock, because we all know those games are legendary. Fallout 4 is amazing. I want to go through and play it again. I'm talking about Redfall and Atomic Heart. Those are the new... 
Those are the AAA first-person games that I've played this year. That, uh... With a big, big releases. And they were both kind of, you know, meh. In terms of gameplay, I think this game has the best gameplay. I would probably say Atomic Heart maybe had the best story. I'm intrigued by this story, but I still think Atomic Heart had a better one. No, games I've played this year in general. I think Fallout's probably one of the best games I've played this year. Fallout 4. Definitely the best older game that we've played. When I say older, I just mean game that wasn't released this year. Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart wasn't horrible, but it wasn't like, you know, great. It was there. 6.5 out of 10, which is still kind of a failing grade, but you know. Would I play Atomic Heart again? Eh, probably not. Did you not like the sex fridge? That was one of the worst parts of Atomic Heart. That stupid sex robot. Lean, lean, lean. Okay. Maybe you should try Forspoken. Is that first person? Or is that, is that a third person game? Forspoken was so bad it shut down the whole studio that made it. I mean, the studio that made it. What was it? Luminescence? Luminescence Studio? The Luminant Engine? I might be getting it wrong, but... They're, they are not a studio anymore after the Forspoken. They had very, uh, very, very high hopes for that game. And those hopes were absolutely shattered. Jack kind of reminds me of the main character. I saw the game a little bit. Jack reminds me of the main character a bit. Arrogant, asshole. They think they're a wise guy. We'll use my ultimate ability, I guess. You feel bad for them? I mean... That's the harsh reality of the gaming industry. If you're working with a... Working with a big company like, uh, what was it? Square Enix they were working with, I think? Working with a big company like Square Enix, if you drop a big dud that loses them millions of dollars, you're gonna lose your job. It turns out, still wants nothing to do with me. Super. So she bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped. By which I mean, the Constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So, there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet, you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my liking. Copy that. Uh, Meet me at the library when you can. The gameplay for Forspoken looked kind of generic. You know what I mean? But I guess you could say the same thing about this game, you know? I do like the magic, though. I don't really play a lot of magic shooter games. I'm usually, uh, more into the guns. So, magic's a nice change of pace for me. Sixty-one percent on Steam? Oh, that's not that bad. Compared to other games. Compared to Redfall. Redfall's like a thirty percent on Steam if we're looking at reviews. But at least Redfall was free with Game Pass. Hello, Game Nerd. Are you avoiding spoilers on this game, Game Nerd? I know you're a big fan of Immortals of Avium. Overwatch 2? Overwatch 2 rocking that 9% positive review with like 200,000 reviews. Why is Redfall the go-to comparison right now? It's just one of the only games that I've played this year. 
I haven't played a lot of first person uh, trip away games this year besides Redfall and Atomic Heart. So those are my best comparisons from my personal experiences. Is it? Honestly, I don't mind it. I'm enjoying it. I'm intrigued with the story on how it goes. Some things could be better, but... Good game. I'll beat it. Probably not today, but I'll beat it. Out of this metal shit. Can I touch this stuff? Oh, I can. It looks a lot like the corruption that I can't touch. Thank you for the raid. I hope you got that world record with those 58 heat runs. What's up, Andy? What up, Halion? What up, Dink? What up, Guy Montags? If there's a mod here, please shout out Halion. Fantastic streamer, fantastic community, fantastic gameplay, fantastic everything. My chat, if you don't follow them, I'm going to be very disappointed. But welcome everyone in. We're playing Immortals of Avium, which is the first game made by Ascendant Studios. Published by EA. Uh, and honestly, it's... I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Some negatives, obviously. But, you know, it's a solid, like, 7, I'd say, so far. 7.5. I don't think I have a mod here. I will go on my phone and be the mod. Do not worry. Wait, wait, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna go on my phone. I can't alt-tab out because my PC is so old and bad. That if I alt-tab out, my FPS will drop like crazy. Never mind, a mod beat me to it. Thank you, mod. Thanks for the follows as well. It's good to have everyone in here. Nodes clears patches of it up. Uh, if you don't know, I am a big variety streamer who plays new releases, roguelites, literally anything you can think of. I play it. Across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? This is the magic FPS game, yeah. Often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Combat's nice. Those instructions. It comes out of them like metallic sweat. You mean learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. A lot of talking you had to listen so to. Single player games, am I right? Around here means these chroniclers have probably become very, very smart. The game did also just give us a grapple, which really opens up a lot of the back. It kind of, this game has very small Metroidvania aspects if you want to progress your character as well. Which is kind of cool. Very small Metroidvania aspects. One down. heal my shotgun is definitely very good oh oh gotta find a way inside who am I the game gives you lots of health crystals though I still can't get my health crystals what the f is that Still can't get my health crystals up. Don't know why. I know there's a way to do it. So wait, maybe I can do it here. We do have crafting. Upgrade. Wow. 
I could have this on the entire time. This would be so much better. Uh, I do have the best ring on right now. I have found a good amount of rings, but... This sounds like such nonsense. Listen, this game... Listen, 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 listen. This is a game. It's 2023. What do you rely on more? Indies? Can I not pick this up? This is clearly lore, but okay. Maybe we have to come back here to pick that up. What up, Chaotic Dan? Hello, how are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. It's me, Fat Albert. Hello. I've got a puzzle. Not bad. What? Old. The melee does not feel good, I will say that. But also, I have never actually used the melee attack while fighting. Jack, have you found the entrance to the archives yet? Just did it. Uh, I think so. Right behind a big ass pile of that mine metal shit. The chroniclers blocked it off. Why? How would I know? Why? I'll try to clear a path. We're gonna get something to clear this metal well, right? Something about what would I rely on? I don't even remember. Oh, relying on indie games when it comes to the... Like when you're, when new games are coming out. you and We all trust an indie game studio more than a AAA studio, right? Like when a new release is coming and people are hyping up. Like if it's an indie game, we have more hope that it'll be a good game compared to, you know, Call of Duty number 86. More than one is there more than one enemy in here? I could not tell. Well, there is another enemy in here. And these tend to have more heart. I remember that. I mean that's evident that indies have more heart when you play them. Some of the best games we've played this year have been the indie games. Obviously, the first indie game that comes to mind is Dave the Diver for this year. And then the second one that comes to mind for me is Darkest Dungeon 2. Oh, what a great time that was. So you can just get rid of the metal just like that. Seems a little fishy. And you're not even going to comment that you just got rid of all that metal out of nowhere. You took off your pants? Whoa, 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 whoa. In public? It is a little hot here today as well. I didn't want to do that, but that's fine. Is there an upgrade system? There is an upgrade system. You can upgrade your gear like this. These gears can all be upgraded. 
Uh, the little dots indicate how much they can be upgraded. Like, this can be upgraded twice. This can be upgraded four times. This is fully upgraded. And then there's also a skill tree. I still have only done three things in red magic. Oh, my lord. Oh, that seems kind of good when the shield gets hit. No. say these puzzles got so hard in this game i need you to stream for eight more hours i will not be streaming for eight more hours i can promise you that what's up nissan how are you doing how many subs for me to stream eight more hours Probably a hundred plus. I have to go to the gym and uh, all that crap. Go to the gym, eat dinner, relax. Yesterday, all I did yesterday was like make videos. All I did yesterday was make a bunch of videos. Shit, gotta be kidding. Blasphemous 2. I want to check out Blasphemous and Armored Core. I haven't even played the first Blasphemous yet, though. Ah, shit. But I will probably be checking out one of them. That'll probably be the last thing I need to do. I'll spread the frog here as well. Good luck with these people. Get mad chicks if you use OS Frog. Damn! Mad chicks if you use OS Frog. And thought they were a bot that just posted Frog for months. Wait, you tell me they're not a bot? Wait, you tell me this is a real person I'm talking to? I want happy ones. And if they're with you, they should be the okay. happiest alive. Some of the door is unblocked. Hee <laughs> hee. Goddamn hee hee emote. Hee hee. Oh, where's the green one? Oh. Oh, thank God it hit. Oh, this was an optional door. Okay. Oh, a 
free level up? Thank you very much. I will take it. I need to go up there, to be honest. This game looks a lot like Forspoken. This game's better than Forspoken, though. I say this as I've never played Forspoken. So I'm obviously the person that will know. I need to go to this left side, probably. Do the exact same thing. This is the male version of Forspoken. Guys, I was so excited to play this game. My Dominion Man is full. Was Pawsfish? Pawsfish? Men sees Men see a first person, woman she in third person. We don't want to look at this dude. Pausers. Easy. Wait, we might have something over here. I have to check everything for potential crates and lore items. Oh, that was a waste of time. Jack kinda hot, not gonna lie. Too bad he's a douche. I feel like by the end of the game, he'll be a lot better, though. They write him as a douche, so you don't like him. And then by the end, you're like, No, Jack, don't die! And then you think he's gonna die, and then it's like, Actually, there's a sequel coming out in 2027. It's like, oh... Well done. Okay. I need to do something with this. unfortunate. Oh, well. At least I found that. I love you, Bird. I love Stream you, Bird. baby. Oh, my sleepy blush. Nyx, thanks for the nine months of the tier one subbing. Let's freaking go. Big love for Nyx for the nine months. Or OS Frogs. 
All right, OS Frog Time. Have a great one, Bert. Thanks for hanging out, Nissan. Enjoy your frog time. Thank you, Nix, for the nine. Let's go. Happy today. Hey, yo, happy today or something like that. I don't know. Thanks for still supporting the stream. It really means a lot. I'm just a guy doing my best. What up, Mr. Fart? What up, Ice? What up, Fart? Hey, gamers. I've got chills that multiplying. And I'm losing control. By the power you're supplying. It's electrifying, electrifying. Oh, you better shape up. Cause I need a man. Who is Dylan? I only know Sleeping Baron Dillub. Fucking Dillub. Fucking Dillub. I mess up on a Domino's making. I mess up once making a Domino's account and accidentally put my name as Dillub instead of Dylan, and I never live it down. If people wondering, yes, that is true. My Domino's account still says my name is Dilla because you can't change it once you make an account. Because N and B are right next to each other on the keyboard. Road looks clear now. And it's like, why would they do that? Oh, it's up here. Oh. Legendary Essence 500? Holy, holy. Oh. Got him in the back, baby. Is that the best you can do? Domino's likes the pizza. Does the delivery driver call you Dillub? Uh, one time they did actually, because they called me because they couldn't find our apartment. They're like, hi, I have an order for Dillub. And I'm just like, yeah, that's me. It's like, yeah, I can't find your apartment, man. And I'm just like, I'll meet you outside. So I, it's, I gave him the directions. I was like, where are you? And he's like, I'm over here. And he's like, all right, I'll be there. I'm like, it's like two minutes away. Oh, oh, that's all I heard was, I have an order for Dillub. It's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, that's me. You know what? Screw it. Let's use our big magic attack that's OP. It almost killed them all. I got two ascension right now I can use. That's pretty cool. At least when people mispronounce your name, it's your fault. I just accidentally typed a B instead of an N. The Keen Seeker Shards. If that's a green one, I think I'd rather have that than this one. Even though this one's fully upgraded. This one is... This one has a higher fire rate. But this one has more damage. I'm gonna take this one, to be honest. I'm not liking that green one. And we'll do the level up now. Level, level ups now as well. To Ascension. Uh, what do we got available for blue? Enemies are knocked back when they attack your shield. Sure. Shield exploding, sure. 
I don't, I don't think they call it by like different colors, but I just call it green, blue, and red magic because let's be honest, that's the easiest way to do it. That's like the easiest way to do it, you know? Like, ah, oh, this one's green, this one's red, this one's blue. Ooh. Is there gonna be a boss here? This has been kind of a long chapter. Kinda looks like a vampire from Redfall, except taller. Why did the music just like stop for a second? <laughs> Defeated. Maximum health increased. Okay. Ring of Balance, an epic ring. I don't think I have any epics, so that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie to you, that was quite easy. For a boss fight, that was quite easy. Lore! Oh my god! I'm bricked Matthew! Your beard is bearding like crazy deep. Thanks for the tier three for 41 months. I hope you're doing good, Matt. I was the apex last night. I was watching a little bit while I could because I was very busy with YouTube videos that are flopping. But I'm not really too concerned about that. I think they're great videos. But I appreciate the continued support. If I shave this head again, I could definitely rock a Kratos look for Halloween with how much muscle I'm building. Ugh. But thank you for the continued support. It really means a lot. I hope you are well. Happy today. Again, with this. Why is she here? Our friend put an invisible ward on the lock that'll blow your hand clean off. We didn't want the chroniclers down here, or thieves, or spies from another... He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. My friend is the interesting bit, wouldn't you say, Jack? Oh my god, here invisible we go. Invisible wards are a pretty complex bit of business to conjure up. Also, please put that down. Nice craftsmanship, by the way. Surely it's not local. Your friend wouldn't be named Thaddeus, would he? Why, you here to kill him? What? No. Jack does look hot. That? Thaddeus said some Lucian assassin goons might turn up looking for him. Said he ran afoul of the downright tyrannical bylaws their order of magic swears by. Thaddeus led that order. He was an immortal. Before he decided to abandon his post, that is. Does he really talk like that? Look, we just want to talk to the guy. Can you take us to him? Please? Thaddeus isn't here. Abandon that post too. Come on, he left some things behind that might help you. Look at us, friends now. And just like that, like she's sense of abandonment convinced. Authority figure. Just like that, she's convinced. Thaddeus is a real asshole. You know that, right? He said he was gonna help me restore the library, that we'd figure out a way to clear all the chroniclers out, and we almost did it. 
Honestly, this game isn't that bad. I like it. Why do you leave? I like it. What kind of trouble was he in with you guys? I mean, I know that Lucian was pretty. And just like that, Kenzie's a good person. Lucian's fascist. Is that why you and Thaddeus hit it off out here in the anti-conformist frontier? Mormon was a commune, jackass. That's as conformist as you can get. Magic was shared by everyone here. They're gonna be kissing by the end of this move, this movie, this game. They're calling each other names and everything. They'll be kissing by the end of this scene, probably. They'll be holding hands. They'll accidentally like touch elbows or something. It'll be like a pause. It'll be like, oh. And then Jack will be like, hey, a little help here, guys. And then they'll start be like, oh, shit, we're coming, Jack. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You, you've seen it all the time. What's up, Rely? How are you doing? This was, uh... Hello. Messy. Maybe something here will tell you where he went. For low graphics, this looks pretty good, right? At the chapter. Oh, wow. You got your sleepy plushie? Thank you for buying one. I'm glad it arrived uh -huh. safely. This is his last journal, and I really have to say thank heavens for multiply underlined map coordinates. He says he's going to Pentac 4.5 to um, 357. That's in Kalthus, right around. Oh, no. He went to Mount Dresmia. Assuming he got past the Rashanians. And assuming he got past the Underdwell. Past the Magic Eaters. The Alori. It's said a very large contingent of them make the Underdwell their home. <laughs> this is madness, Jack. We can't go there. This We're is madness. madness. The Alori will kill us on the spot. A lot of good eating on a madness. Sandrak's still out there with the Binding Stone. And Thaddeus may be the only one that knows how to stop him. We're assuming Thaddeus is alive. Well, you are. I most definitely think he's extra dead. We don't have a choice. Well, if you're really going to risk walking into a den of magic hunger demons, I can take you to a ley line that'll lead you directly to Kalthus. All right, let's do it. Oh, that was simple. Well, that was easy. Oh, you want to go there? Don't worry. I have something that takes us there immediately. Devin, you stay here. Hunt down the rest of the chroniclers getting too close to Lucium. You can catch up with me later. we Will do. Be careful, Jack. Thanks for your help, Faithless Rebel. Anything to get you off my islands, bootlicker. Yeah, they're totally making up by the end of this. For real, though, we appreciate it. I know you'd rather stay out of all this, but I've seen Sandrak absorb a ley line and move the wound. No one can afford to ignore the Everwar now. Just watch me. It's sad that you're caught up in it all, because you're really hot. Good luck finding the old man. <laughs> Man, it's a shame you're going to war because you're really fucking hot. I would bone you. I would bone you immediately. But you're in war. Oh, achievement unlocked. Chapter 7 complete, it says, but I'm pretty sure that's chapter 9. So I think there's actually 16 chapters. Sir, I've reached Kalthus and I'm en route to Mount Dresnir by way of the Underdwell. Say, you're from around here. What do you know about the Alori? They're elder demons that the old kingdoms banished into the earth. They feed on magic. And Chapter nine. Really hate mankind. So about the same as everyone else knows. They're a threat to the natural order, Initiate. Cursed by the Pentasad to live out their poison. If you're watching on YouTube, remember this for the next video. Is that better? If you're watching on Twitch, uh, just have a good memory for like two minutes. Just look for a mining operation, smartass. It was abandoned once they accidentally dug into the Alori Caves and got eaten. Eaten. Awesome. <laughs> Not bad game.